Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally. We have this privilege of studying God's Word together. And um, today we're going to look at some of the prayers that were prayed. And particularly we're looking at uh, uh, Ephesians chapter 1. And, uh, and this is uh, Paul praying this prayer over the church in Ephesus, over the believers uh, in Ephesus. And uh, we'll be picking up from verse 18 where Paul prays and he says that you may know what is the hope of his calling, what are the riches of the glory of his inheritance of the saints, and what is the exceeding greatness of his power towards us who believe, according to the working of his mighty power, which he worked in Christ, which he raised him, when he raised him from the dead, and seated him at the right hand in the heavenly places. So here are some things that, that we can pray uh, over our own lives and over the lives of maybe our family, our friends, over, over those uh, to whom the Lord has placed us as spiritual leaders. So here's something that we can pray, saying, he's praying that you may know the hope of his calling. Okay. Do people know that they have a call in God? And have they discovered that call, that wonderful call in God? God has a unique call. God has a unique invitation and plan and purpose for each and every individual. So we can pray this, that they may know what are some of those things that are hindering them? What are those things that are acting as barriers? Is it willful sin? Is it um, ignorance? And we can pray and pray and remove those barriers and declare those barriers to be removed and say, Lord, let them know the hope of your calling. So let them know the call and let them know the hope that comes with the call, the hope of your calling. The second thing, what are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints? Now we can look at this a couple of ways. One is that the glory of the riches of the inheritance that we as believers have in God, that the church has, that what we have as inheritance in Christ, that we may know that, that what are the riches of it, that we may know the depth of it, that it's no more information, but it's something that we walk in. Riches of the glory of his inheritance. Another way to look at it is that the inheritance that God has in us as believers. So we can pray for that. Verse 19, what is the exceeding greatness of his power towards us who believe? According to the working of his mighty power, it's talking about the resurrection power of the Holy Spirit, the resurrection power that raised Jesus from the dead. So he's saying here that, that, let, that you may know the exceeding greatness of his power. And the word used there is dunamis, which is supernatural power, uh, according to the working of his mighty power, which is uh, su supernatural, creative um, the power of God. So he's praying that as well. So this is something that we, we don't have to shy away from the power of God and we can pray this over our own lives. So let's pray. Father, we pray that uh, today, God, that we may know the hope of your calling. Oh God, that we may know the exceeding riches of the glory of the inheritance of the saints. And Lord, that we may know the exceeding greatness of your mighty power that is at work in us. Yes, Lord, may we know it, may we experience it, May we know these things and let it be part of our lives, Lord. And I just pray that we will pray this over others as well. Uh, and uh, may they experience this as well. We thank you. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.